Hey guys, happy flower day. Thanks for tuning in and I can't wait to bring you this week's box. We have an amazing selection of beautiful flowers. We're going into the cooler months now, so we're really seeing a gorgeous new varieties coming through and we've got some of these to work with today. So let's take a closer look at this week's individual flowers. We have the Malacca Balm or Irish Bells as it's also known. These fantastic leggy lengths of blooms have got the most amazing fragrance, really fresh, zingy and clean and they're going to add some really nice tall architectural elements to this week's arrangement. One of our fantastic filler flowers this week, or feature flowers I should say, are the fantastic chrysanthemums in this beautiful mauve tone. We also have a different foliage flower this week and this is called the Choreo. The, it's got gorgeous lengths of foliage but if you can have a look there's gorgeous little um, little individual purple flowers on each of the stems. Wild and bushy will add some fullness to your arrangement. We've also got the start of the tulips. Can't wait to see these colour up and open in the coming week. And our foliage element, which is everyone's favourite, the spinning gum. So let's create this week's arrangement and put all of this together. First up, we're going to start working with the spinning gum. Just a quick trim on the ends. Remove any of the lower leaves, which are going to be in that water level and then place them into the vase. The vase we're using this week is a 25 centimeter by 15 centimeter vase and it will be absolutely perfect for this week's floral. We're going to now work with the choreo. So the choreo is what I classify as a foliage flower filler. Um, it's got really big bushy stems so what we need to do is just do some dividing and turn that one stem into multiple stems just by cutting out the thickest part of each of the stems that you've been given. Just like that. And you can turn it into two. And then position that amongst the spinning gum. This will add some beautiful soft bellowing effects amongst the structure. If you're finding it is a little bit too wild and woolly, you can always give pieces a bit of a haircut and then reposition. Turning the bars, um, you know, now and again will also add a really nice uniformity to this week's um, arrangement. We're going to position in the chrysanthemums now in this beautiful mauve colour. You just want to give the ends a quick trim just on the angle and then position them central that's probably a little bit too tall so just going again and reducing those stem lengths central and then I'm choosing to cluster the other two stems just on the side this will add some really nice impact So we're going to work with the Malacca Balm now. The Malacca Balm, I really want to leave as tall as possible because the Malacca Balm really doesn't do much over the week. It just adds some really nice architectural elements, some really nice fragrance and a really lovely contrast in the green. You want them to be at the tallest point um, and then you can step it down and see that the, the arrangement visually and aesthetically has different levels. And then to finish off, we've got the tulips, which are going to mature over the coming week. So you need to give them a little trim and then just position them into any of the voids that you can see amongst the other flowers. Another one there. And I'll put the last one up here 
just like that. And there you have it. That's this week's fresh, crisp and clean box. Have fun. Don't forget to share what you've done and created. I love to see them. Have a great week.